only the only man to take a set off of Leo at Evo. Yeah, for real. It's yeah. crazy that he beat Leo and didn't get top eight. That's like a that's a rough feel. It just goes to show how incredibly stacked Evo was. Yeah, like Evo was the most stacked tournament in Smash Brothers history. Yeah, not even not Smash just Ultimate, Ultimate like, like Smash Brothers history. Smash history in general. That tournament was in. Same. And it was best two out three for pretty much ninety percent of it. It's great. Yeah, talk about a stressful environment, bro. So I, I mean, Kome did all the work today with the Shulk, getting so far. Dude, let's see if Nico can uh, replicate some of that success. At Dude, Switch Fest. it was so hype when uh, Kome beat Mars, and you look out into the crowd, and you literally see like a group of like five or six Shulk mains. Holding a <laughs> like a replica of the of Shulk's sword, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like just just like, and they're just all holding onto it and they're <laughs> jumping up and down. And they're like, yeah, like, dude. I was like, damn, these are some die-hard Shulk <laughs> fans, bro. Like, you know, if like everyone that mains Wolf, if like Wolf won something, like they wouldn't be popping off. The Wolf mains don't care, but Shulk mains, dude, they're dedicated. Yeah, for real. I mean, the character is this. So different from other characters that you pretty much have to solo main him to be successful. But uh, let's see. Let's see what Nico can do here against Kameme. This is uh, going to be rough, man. I believe the last time they fought at a local, it was uh, in very heavy favor of Kameme. I'll oh, go ahead and put it nicely. Yeah. I think <laughs> that was the mango, like the weekend of the mango or something like that. one or of the, the locals one or the mango or something. Yeah. It's all just a blur to me, man. Yeah, yeah. So many tournaments. Kameme definitely, every time he comes to SoCal, he's, he's doing work for sure. Yeah, it's like these Japanese players are very talented and yeah. really good. <laughs> but, of course, um, thanks to you guys, man. You guys are always bringing out Japan, funding them through the compendium. Yep. So we get to uh, enjoy them and get to see all this high-level play, the schmicks of uh, Japan versus U.S. And, of course, some European uh, players actually showed up as well. So yep. very great to see the global talent of Super Smash Brothers. And that's the the most heartwarming thing about Smash, you know what I mean? Just bringing everybody together. Yes. So many strong players in this game. All over the world. Yeah, and this game is hard, man. Yes. <laughs> you compete in this game, uh, props oh. to you, bro. <laughs> oh, there's the back air, and actually, Nico not doing too shabby, honestly, compared to, like, some of his other performances. Oh, up he out of shield here. Very nice on that cross-up. Nico still holding oh, on to the forward air. the jump immediately. All right. I'll give I'll give Nico the good old head nod, man. You you got the first stock, but can you finish your plate, man? That's gonna be a tough cookie to crack. Kameme, very very oh. experienced forward air. It, We're barely wow. living. He got the jump power too. Where he's gonna go to get up this ledge though. Kameme is so scary. He is dude, so scary. He's, he's just always hopping, waiting dude. for a spot dodge roll. Like he's just waiting for you to okay. just panic. Give me a defensive option so I can nom nom and get the back air of the forward air. But Kameme gonna get that up smash. They're gonna take. Uh, Nico right off the top there, not racking up too much damage, honestly. Yeah. There's the back air. We try to get the reset, but Kamehameha holding on strong, throwing out these pellets. Oh, man, he got the grazing there like two times in a row. And Nico got the hops, bro. <laughs> He's hopping right over these pellets. I like. I think Nico is playing this matchup a lot more aggressive or at least like trying to stay where his character is strongest, like in that yeah. mid-range. Yeah. He doesn't want to let Kamehameha set up, honestly, and that's the smart thing to do against Mega Man. He doesn't really have Ooh. that many. Just, Ooh. He doesn't have that many ways to just alleviate pressure. Oh, when he's the back throw! Yeah, Ooh. yeah, yeah. He knew. He that knew was, he would neutral get up. That's so good. And the way he hopped too, it it really made Kamehameha feel safe to go for the normal get up because it looked like he was trying to set up for an aerial with yeah, the smash yeah. art, right? And then he just drifted behind him, got that back throw. Really sneaky stuff here from Nico. Yeah, yeah. Nico's playing very smooth right now. Okay, back here now. Now that Nico has a. Very, very large lead. He doesn't necessarily, he can stay in that mid-range, but he can more so like fade out, right, within that mid-range. Oh, oh, nice, wow. kept the roll. Man, his reaction. How old is this man, dude? This guy's got <laughs> reactions, bro. Yeah, he's so good catching your defensive option, especially at the ledge. Oh, tech chase, okay, tech roll away. Oh. Command me with the parry, and we've seen this man get parry up tilts with Mega Man, so yeah. you gotta watch out how you fall onto this guy with some aerials. Honestly, Kamehameha oh. not taking too much damage. I like the shield art switch, just in case. Yeah, I think he was expecting him to up tilt his landing or something. Oh, barely living here. But honestly, like the combination with jump, he used the jump art to jump onto the stage, and then right before he landed, he went in the shield. That was yeah. so smart. Oh, you know Kamehameha hits those all day. Yes, and he gets the knuckle man, the spike, 
and that was so good. Essentially, Nico tried to mix him up, tried to up be a little earlier and like try to catch him with that second slash, but man, Kamehame was all over that. Okay, so we got the Buster Art, and look at this, no fear coming out from Kamehame. Yeah. He's playing around uh, Shulk's Monado, different Monado properties very well. Yeah, now we're seeing a lot more Leaf Shield Yulishes. Honestly, we haven't seen too much of it on these first two stocks, but now bringing it out twice here on this third stock. All this safe pressure coming out from Nico. These Nairs, these back airs, really abusing the fact that Shulk has this insane range on his sword. Oh, another, another back one? throw? Not he enough. almost died at 100. Yeah, almost. This smash art is bonkers. Uh -oh. Okay, maybe a stall? Question mark? Oh man, he's uh, trying to survive. Nico, maybe a little too fishy for this uh, stock here. Yeah, he doesn't want to do anything too unsafe. Kamehameha is very clutch, but there's the up tilt to catch that unsafe landing. Nico taking game one. It's looking yeah. better than it was a few months ago, I gotta say that. Way better. And yeah. I'm telling you, man, SoCal has been on the grind. I know we didn't have the hottest performance in the first six months. Cut us some slack, all right? But man, I'm telling you, every a lot of the a lot more of the top players are coming out to the locals, and even like during MSM Wednesday night fights, um, as the tournament is coming down to a simmer, a lot of players will stay after, yeah. even they're out of bracket. Grind, 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 and that's what it's all about. I'm looking over by the pools right now, and I'm seeing a bunch of people getting the grind on. So yeah. that's what it all that's what it's all about, guys. Getting that grind on, improving. Right. That's Ult definitely something Nico has done. Ultimate players grind? What? Yes. That's crazy. At anyway, least, here in SoCal, at least. Oh yeah, you know. I, 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 I mean, I, I, I'm not saying other regions don't, but I'm just saying I can't speak <laughs> for other regions because I actually don't know like if you're grinding or not. But I know, like, just from the looks of it and skill-wise, it definitely feels like it. Yeah, it definitely has been a big level up. Yeah, and like the general meta has advanced so, so far. Yeah, look Ooh. at what we're seeing right now. Like, we didn't see anything like this in the first six months. Now we're seeing, like, top level Shulk versus top level Mega Man. Yeah, Mega Man really showing to be. Oh, oh I love it. I love man. that setup, man. It's so clean. Yeah. So Mega Man's so good at hitting that. And he Z drops the saw blade so low to the ground. You honestly, it's not telegraphed whatsoever. So it's like, man, it's it's so hard to look out for. And look at this, only 53%. And let me tell you a little something. So Mega Man, you got some weight in those. Uh, it, it's funny because Mega Man looks really short, but like, man, this robot is heavy. Look at all this safe pressure, man. Yeah. Looks like Kamehameha is the one spacing him out with the the forward air and all the all of his sword moves. Yeah, he doesn't want to get put in the same situation as last time, where he was forced to try to get in on these crazy Shulk normals and uh, you know aerials. Yeah. Okay, I like that reverse snare into the forward air. Oh, the drift. Oh, man, he's so tricky. Nico wanted that easy edge guard, but it's not going to be easy against Kamehameha whatsoever. Oh, Ooh, man, the he pellets. hit him out of the back air. Yeah, interrupting that back air setup. That was really, really big. It wouldn't have killed, but would have put Kamehameha in a really bad spot. But here's a smash art. Anything's fair game. Oh. The, oh, the back air almost catches the roll. Smash art about to run out. Nico wants to make a play, but Kamehameha going really low here. Oh, there's the pellet again, interrupting these aerials from Nico. Wow, the back air interrupting Nico's back air once again. Kamehameha is doing such a good job of playing around this Shulk back air. Setting up the Saw Blade, you know oh, what he wants. Oh, there it is again. Oh my god, barely living. But then that T drop up till is just so consistent from Kamehameha. Oh yeah. my god. Right when he put him up in the air and he threw the Saw Blade down, we were like, oh, we all know what you want, Kamehameha. Okay, dash tag, not quite in, and man, stock okay, there it is. mileage. As yeah. I say that, finally lose that first stock. But man, look at all this damage that he's dealt to Nico. Yeah, this is gonna be really rough for him to get this stock. Mega Man's a very heavy character as well. So uh, I mean, I don't know, he just needs an edge guard, but unsafe. Yeah. Unsafe yeah. dash attack, the easiest up smash in the world for Kamehameha to hit. Yeah, it kind of looked like Nico might have been far enough, but that up smash got the scoops, man, and Kamehameha knows that, calculated that up smash and got that stock. I've been seeing Kamehame, or sorry, uh, Kome and Nico use like this falling up air with Buster Schultz a lot today. And it looks, looks like it does really good show pressure. And if it hits, you get a pretty good low percent combo, it seems. Oh, man. And oh. that, yeah, that Shulk tech, that Shulk meta is going to always be growing. This character has so much potential. Um, so it's just, it's a, it's definitely a character that has so much room to grow, right? Because there's so much tech with all the different Monado arts. Yeah. And even at this tournament, like they, all the best Shulks are here for the most part. They're all like getting their uh, chances to grind the character out and like learn from each other. Yeah, yeah.
share tech with each other and all that. Uh, of course, all the jokes are very supportive of each other. They want each other to do really, really good. They really love this character. Up man, man. Oh, he wants it. Jordan on his lead. Oh, man, he's looking for that Z drop up till even while he's in the shield art. No fear, man. No fear whatsoever. Use the saw blade to get back. Nico desperately trying to take the stock. The smash art is online. Forward air? Uh, nope. Almost Knock, killed Almost killed at 90. That's crazy. And this is a heavy character. Oh, you're crazy. No. You are a crazy man, Nico. He was so close to connecting that. Down air. Gets the nair, but now with no smash art, it's going to be a lot rougher to get this stock here on the Kamehameha. Going deep. Oh. Man, he's still living. Yeah. Nope, no pivot oh. so but there's the air slash at the corner. Okay. Just enough to kill. I actually barely killed Mega Man. Whew. Well, I've seen Nico stocks time and time again, but is Kameme going to uh, let this Shulk do it? I don't know. Kameme knows exactly what to do, especially when he's in a position like this. Oh, my God. He knew the neutral gift was coming, man. He's just so scary at the ledge. He's just jumping, waiting patiently. How many F smash on normal getups are we going to see tonight, man? I don't know. That's, a, that's <laughs> like the fifth one. It's like the top 48 special here at Switch Fest. But man, what, what a back and forth set here. Nico taking that game one, but man, I gotta say, Commitment kind of taking that game two in a much more convincing manner. Yeah. Uh, they were down last stock a piece, but man, Kameme was JV, if not very low percent. Yeah, uh, that was just a really strong counter pick, I feel. Like yeah. the, the layout of the stage was so large, like chasing down Kameme after you got that really early first stock. Damn near impossible, honestly. Yeah. And here at the SoCal, uh, for the SoCal rule set, we have six stages. Um, I'm assuming Kameme is going to ban the smallest stage being Smashville, so this is probably his next best bet being uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. Man, you know what? Every everyone's kind of down for the stadium, man. Yeah, even the Japanese players, like, I just heard so many people just go up to them and like, yo, PS2, and they're like, yeah, of course, you want this stage. Yeah, I, I got to play a shoot on in bracket today, and I was like, Stadium? And he was like, yeah. I was like, yo, <laughs> Japanese players are down, bro. Okay, so here's here's Nico on the hunt. Um, now that it, the the quarters are a little bit closer, Nico using the speed art to close the gap, and already 110% here on the Kameme. Oh, Ooh, okay. The mix-ups, though, didn't go for the second slash and fast forward oh. right through the platform. I don't know. I don't, definitely don't agree with these air slashes from Nico. I saw that a lot in his earlier set. Uh, I don't know, he's just really liberal at using that move, and it doesn't really always work out for him. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so, sometimes it's like an anti-air option. Sometimes you're just like whipping it out. Sometimes maybe he just like, anticipated shield pressure, but didn't really come at his shield, but he just does it Are anyway. Are you? Wow. <laughs> You're That's he's the Kamehameha special right there, dude. He died that was so very good. early. He parried and, and had enough time to turn around. Turn around, yeah. Sweet spot up tilt. I'm telling you, man, I, I, told, I said in the beginning of the set, right, Kamehameha is very versed at getting these parries into the up tilt, and man, it don't matter if you gotta turn it around. If he doesn't have to turn around, he's gonna get it, and man, Kamehameha putting on quite the show here. Still surviving on this stock. How many dam How much damage can he rack up, though? Already 33 on the board. Again, this character, the Mega Man, can live so long against Schultz, dude. Is that gonna be it? No, Kamehameha still surviving here. Forward air, not gonna connect, sinking low here. Oh, oh get-up attack, though. Going to relieve some of this pressure going into the leaf shield, but the back air slices right through it. I love the angle that Kamehameha is recovering at, but it covers the roll with the forward air. Nico only taking 49%. Let's see if he can bring this back. Man, that forward air is gigantic. Oh, yes. That looked like it would cover normal get-up and roll, bro. It was, like, kind of crazy. Okay. Now, right now, Nico taking his time. Doesn't necessarily have to rush the Buster Art. Still ends up getting a bunch of hits here. Jump art here. Yeah, Kamehameha holding his ground. Nice yeah. anti-air. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little worried there. Heart kind of skipped the beat. Jeez, I thought that was one of the most tragic SDs of all time. Yeah, you don't want to go out like that, man. Oh, oh. smash art. Smash art fair. Kamehameha going to go low? No, goes oh, high. His drift was so good. Yes, that was a very good fake out. Just waits out this Smash Art. And man, Kameme is very good at not getting hit by Smash Art. Now, it sounds like a very simple task to do, but it is uh, it can be quite hard, especially when you're fighting up against someone like Nico. Yeah. Or tilt, okay. And very oh, close. Oh, the game. Metal Blade. Wow. That placement was so good. He knew exactly where Nico wanted to drop zone for that forward air. Yeah, that was so good. Man, these players are so smart, dude. Oh, Kamehameha. Kamehameha jumping at you with his back turned in the corner is like 
top five scariest <laughs> situations <laughs> to be. <laughs> yeah, and wow, even Kamami trying to get the anti-air with the the saw blade, but it, it's oh. just crazy because most of these Japanese players they they know how to just reposition and react. Oh, cop the jump. No smash art though. Oh, there it is. Oh, the late hit. <laughs> he dropped shield on oh, the late man. part of Nair, but he's Fit living. living. He has shield? the middle blade. Yep. Oh, there's the shield art, keeping him alive just long enough to rack up this percent and keep him at the ledge. Oh, oh it went away at the last part oh, of back air. That is so tragic. He, right when he needed it the most, Yeah, man. it was gone. Oh, no. But, I mean, nonetheless, really great stock. Uh, coming out from Nigi, who was able to secure it first, but now it comes down to who can secure the last stock first, because oh. that's when it really matters. Yeah, Nico's getting some decent percent from this buster, but oh man, the pellet use is so good at the corner from Kameme. I like the wave land uh, that Nico did after getting hit up by the, the pellets, and, and right now just Kameme is so good at interrupting the startup of a lot of Nico's aerials with this pellet. Okay, gets the forward air. Beautiful spacing from both these characters, Kameme. Now, oh. now Nico fading in and out, trying to utilize this uh, the movement from. Okay, opting to go into the shield art. Yeah, he wanted to see if he can intercept uh, and land easier from the up air pressure that Kamehameha was exhibiting. But, oh my goodness, he's interrupting so many things. But the roof covers the roll with the back air. Can Nico pressure him long enough? This is so put him close, off the stage? bro. It, it, it's crazy, too, because Kamehameha will like look backwards, and you won't expect him to throw a saw blade, but then he throws it. It, it, and it's just oh. so unexpected. Back throw, not going to be quite it. Smash art, no, he's going to switch to the jump. Wants to go deep, nope, comes back, turns off the oh, Monado. Oh, man. Uh, getting away with that roll from the ledge quite a bit, but I think Nico is calling it out. The next one could be pretty bad for him, but there's a clutch pellet use. Oh, man. Oh, oh the shield art keeping him alive just a little bit longer, but it's so close. Oh, oh he caught the saw blade. This could be bad here. Speed art. Oh, oh the ledge trump. Saved it for the very oh last God. stock, and Nico is going to fall in that game three situation. So, so close. And Kameme, so, close. so, so tricky in that corner situation, yeah. right? His, uh, he saved it, for, like you said, he saved it for the last moment. It's so hard to know he was going to go for that ledge trump there. Yeah. And just wasn't prepared. Yeah, because oh, Kameme, every single time, that's the first time he's gone for a ledge trump this entire set. Yeah. And ledge trump bear, pretty strong. And there was no shield art either. Um, uh, Nico, it was on cooldown. So right there, Kameme, very calculated, burned the shield art, and right when he saw that the, it was his time to strike, got the trump into the back air, sealed out. Now, if we do go into a game five situation, Kameme will be the one with yeah. the counterpick advantage. But we'll see if uh, Nico can even make that situation happen. Yeah. I really want to see the game five. I would love to see the game five. Especially, you know, since we already had so many high-level show uh, gameplay from Kome this t tournament, I'd really love to see some more of that coming here from Nico. But Kamehameha's defense has been so hard to crack with Shulk. Oh, yeah. Really, really rough here. There's the up tilt. Great shield pressure. Here comes the smash start. Nico wants to get this kill at 75%. <laughs> yeah, Kamehameha recognizes it again. He's playing around the Monado uh, properties very well. Okay. Beautiful spot dodge. What's he going to do with his metal blade, though? Oh! I, I thought that was dead. <laughs> I thought that was the Z drop up tilt again. Oh! No, he didn't get the sweet spot. But he's aware of it. He's so good with this saw blade. You gotta be careful at all times. Nico kind of got a second chance of life for him not getting the sweet spot up tilt there. So you have to capitalize as much as he can. Oh my Ooh, god, beautiful carry. carry. Yeah. And right now, Kamehameha in the driver's seat, but Nico still has his stock. He still has oh, his rage. He wow. covered the neutral get up, dash up, up smash. Super active move. Kamehameha again securing the first stock. Yeah. Gonna come into this game number four with the lead here, using the shield art. Um, Nico pretty much utilizing that so he can get on the ground, get this landing going, so he can get back to slashing. And here's the smash oh, art. Oh, he caught it this time. That was actually really hard fair to connect, the way that Kamehameha was mixing up his drift so well. Yeah. Very good maneuverability, but this time Nico caught onto it and was able to snipe him down low with that forward air, bringing this two stocks apiece. Okay, hits the fair. Wants to get a lot more damage. Gets uh, now we got the Buster Art. Oh, Ooh, man, that that yeah, tilt's so always. Oh, he got the grazing hit of the dash attack. That feels bad, man. The, uh, thank you so much. And the, uh, the dude, I, 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 I forget who I was commenting with, but the the forward tilt and dash attack always feel so media. Oh, I was commenting with Sedge at uh, CLG Round Robin. Yeah. Like forward tilt and dash attack, when you get hit by it by uh, Buster Monado Choke, it's like man, I just took so much. Yes. Damage. Especially when it combos off of down throw, it's like, man, what the hell? Oh, clutch shield switch. I love the uses of shield art 
for Nico. Like he like double jumps and then switches the shield, so it's like, oh, even if you hit me out of double jump, I'm fine. Yes. Which is so smart. Oh, the crash bomb coming in clutch. That looked like a really good edge guard for Nico, but got cut short. And now he's at kill percent. From so many things from Kamehameha. He's got to play so careful here. Yep. Oh, there's the back throw. Yeah, Shulk with Rage is very dangerous. Slashing right oh. to the crash bomb. Oh, man. Good thing that was sour back here because yeah. that could have been imminent death there. And he's in the corner. What do you do? The back here connects, but no, no smash art was online. What's the ledge trap here? Oh, oh, he caught the jump. Another up smash from Kamehameha. Yeah, Kamehameha knows exactly when and where to place these up smashes, man. Oh. It's so calculated. Here's the shield art. Kamehameha just going to opt for the back throw and back off. Really good yeah. stuff. Knowing and respecting that shield art. But, man, can Nico even this right back up? There's the crash. Oh. Top 10 anime betrayals? Wow, that actually was bad for Kamehameha. Yeah. Like he, he wanted to try to uh, stall off of the crash bomb, but it put him above the ledge. Susceptible to the forward air, but still, Nico trying to bring this to a game five. He's a little behind here, but if he can find his way in, he can dip so much percent. It's so oh. funny watching uh, Nico shield art through oh. up air. Because yeah. it's just like, it's just Choke standing there, and there's a tornado on him, and then he just sinks down. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, the so up tilt, good. not getting the sweet spot. Man, right now, Kameme in full control of this last stock. Oh, man, can the corner pressure go through? And Kameme is yeah. so good at holding his ground in the corner. Yep. He is not, he does not get shook. Yeah, not at all. Oh, they caught the roll away, but not able to get the dash attack to connect. Nico so close to dying here. He needs so much to bring this back. Oh, oh! I thought I thought he was gonna up tilt him. After yeah, the spot that looked dodge. that looked like an up tilt from the spot dodge for sure. Oh, what's the oh. corner catch? Oh, oh he he's so back. scary. Okay, dash attack. Get off of me, <laughs> please. Kamehameha, the pressure is too great, but Nico is still surviving. Goes for the shield art, gets onto the stage here. So got half of about oh. half left. Oh my goodness! The spot dodge because the shield art. Yeah, had the shield no art made to... unable to combo. I want to kill you at 70. <laughs> Can he clutch this out in the smash art? It's gone. Okay, okay. He just takes it off. I think he's Oh, the forward smash. Wow. Oh, my God. The forward smash caught the drift back from Fair. Oh, my God. He threw it out in neutral. Who does that? Who? Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say that. Like, damn. He, he actually just dashed. He did a single dash.